Hello there. In this quick video, I'm going to take you through a couple of core things you might want to know when installing Native Instruments products for the first time. I don't think there's anything else out there like this, so I thought it might be a good thing for me to do for the curious among you. So let's just say you've bought in the sale Complete Ultimate Collector's Edition. Doesn't matter what version, 11, 12, 13, 19. But there's certain things that you'll want to install first off. If, for example, you'd like to play Abbey Road, 50s drummer, you're going to need contact. If you want to play with something like Blocks Bass or Blocks Primes, you're going to need Reactor. But how do you know what you need installed before this stuff works? Well, the short answer is, unless you're familiar with all the products, you won't know. So in this video, I'm going to aim to tell you and show you a bit about that. Now, ideally, when you open Native Access and you've signed into your Native ID, it should be presenting you with a list of the core components. Those are Absinthe, Battery 4, FM8, Contact, Massive, and Reactor. Those are the things that you'll want to install from a Not Install tab. Unfortunately, this doesn't happen, however, so everything is just presented in a big alphabetical order and you have to know what's necessary. But let's assume you don't. Q. If you want to play India and you install it, what do you need installed to play it? A. Contact. So you must make sure that contact's installed before you do that. So my advice to you and to anyone else would be to install these six things before you do anything else, as well as complete control if you're going to be using this via the complete control keyboard as I do. So that's seven things, really. Everything else can then be installed as expected. Now, I can't show you what would happen on screen when things are not installed because I have everything installed here, but I can show you what Native Access looks like. This is what Native Access looks like. Now, bear in mind, I'm in my installed tab, not not installed, because as I say, everything's installed in my case. But this is what you'd be looking at. So it's necessary to go into here and click install on all of these six products. Everything else is then secondary. I think this is something that Native really could address and hopefully a future update. And maybe by the time you watch this video, this will be irrelevant because they'll have done so. Ideally, when you load Native Access, you'd get what's called onboarded. And onboarding would tell you that before you run any of our products, these are the things you'll need it to install beforehand. Or if you try to load something that you cannot use, it will tell you, uh, please be advised that you also need this to run that. Prime example. A teacher friend of mine recently loaded India, and as I said already, he was unable to play it because it gave him an error. He didn't know that he needed contact installed, and so he called me up in distress and asked me how to fix it. And I said, what do you have installed? And he gave me a list of things, and I said, well, one of them isn't contact. So no contact, no India. Most of the time when you're driving a car or using something that, like a washing machine or a fridge, you don't really have to know how it works under the hood. But there are times when you do, and complete control in this case, if we're using that as an example and I do, is one of those times. You can use the keyboard to interact with a whole lot of sound, but if the core components underneath all that are not installed, you're going to get nowhere. Fast. So I'll remind you of that list again. Absinthe, Battery, FM8, Contact, Massive, and Reactor. Once you install those things, everything else will just work because it all runs inside of these things. From cavern floor to Caribbean current, from, oh, I don't know, creator tools, no. How about Cuba? That'll work, that's contact. I'm going down this list here, just looking at some things. What have we got? Ooh, Evolve Mutations, another contact library. Geosonics, that's a third party library there. Look at all this. Halcyon Skies, for example, that runs inside of battery. That's a drum expansion. Infamous Flow, another battery. Contour, that runs inside a reactor. How do I know this, you're asking yourself? Well, I've been doing this for many years now, so I kind of know what all the things do run inside of, and I've at least used all of these products at least once. Yeah, there's a lot of them, isn't there? But yeah. Hopefully that's of some help to you. If it is, great. 
and please pass it along because I think this kind of stuff just isn't well talked enough about and I'd like to rectify that as much as possible. Thank you for watching.